So I want to take you to one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. It's probably one of the verses that I have quoted the most in my preaching over the past 10 years, I'd say. What is it? Where is it? What does it talk about? It's 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Let me read it for you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And it goes on to talk about our inheritance that is imperishable and undefiled and will never fade away. It's just beautiful, beautiful gospel truth. And I think one of the reasons I quote that verse so often is because of the idea of regeneration that comes from God. God causes us to be born again. We come to faith in Christ, but it's God who has initiated that process and he gives us faith to believe. But the amazing thing is that he gives us a living hope. We are born again to a living hope. And I want to focus in on that word living. It's the idea of living water. It's the idea of having a a vital power in itself that exerts that power upon the soul. So we have a living hope that comes from God. And Christ lives in us. Just like Paul said in Galatians 2.20, Christ lives in me. And so it's this idea that we live in Christ, and that Christ lives in us actively, the the power of Christ is in us. The power of Christ is spurring us on. The power of Christ is exerting uh, energy in our soul spiritually so that we would want to follow Christ, that we would want to reach others with the gospel, that we would want to treat others well, we would want to do whatever pleases God. I think that's one of the reasons I love that verse the most. It talks about the inward life that God gives us, that flows out like a fountain, really. Flows out like a fountain from God uh, through us to others uh, for God's glory and the good of all. I hope that's an encouragement to you today as you live seeking the glory of God. Let me pray for you now. Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you that you have caused believers to be born again to a living hope. Thank you that that hope is alive, uh, that it will never disappoint that is sure and steadfast, and Christ is an anchor for our souls. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.